All right, so I just finally checked my Gmail again today. Of course, last night I posted a video, another video about prints, and of course I get another copyright strike on an old video. So today is what May seventh, five seventy. But remember, Prince died on at the age of fifty-seven. Lots of fifty-seven around his death. So I just wanted to show another copyright strike and just look at this one as well. So it says it happened at 12:34 a.m. I might have posted this video. We'll look really quick. I don't know if I posted it last night. I had put it up on YouTube, but I never made it public yet because I I like to go through and. Make sure I didn't say a bunch of errors and then leave little notes. Let's see what day I put this up here. Alright, so I did. I put it up on 5-6. Last time I put the video up uh, right before midnight, and then they gave me a copyright strike just after midnight. And so the same thing happened on 5-6. I put this video up, then just after midnight, I get a co another copyright strike on an old video at 12-34. So let's just look at this one here. Okay, what the heck? So it's my Cali and Coldplay Beyonce video. So I just put this one up back before the Super Bowl. Well, actually, we'll see when I put it up. <laughs> 329 views even. I put it up on February 6th, which is also Queen Elizabeth's uh, 63rd anniversary as being the Queen. Or I mean actually the 64th. This year will be her 63rd coronation on 6-2. On 2-6 was her 64th anniversary of being the Queen. Hmm. So I guess it wasn't an actual copyright strike. They're just saying that they found copyrighted content on my video and they're going to, they might appear ads onto this video. So I'm just going to stop here for a second and think about the whole point of why they might have, why they might have did this again. Let's see here. I don't know. Let's just check out Kalia Jabatria. Of course, 33. But it was actually Shiva, not Kali. But I didn't. If you go watch that video, it does make sense to what I'm talking about. 59, Pope Francis equals 59. I don't know. I'm going to rewatch this video. I'm also going to, uh, I don't know. I'm going to think about it. But just wanted to kind of do a little live post showing that I got another copyright strike when I go to my. Uh, Gmail and it happened exactly like the last time where I posted a Prince video and then just after midnight I get this copyright claim. So I've only made it a minute two into this video and one thing that I just when I was just relooking here as I'm listening I also talk about the 88 and the trident in this video. In the Prince video that I just put up I talked about the color purple and Gematria equals 88 I talked about a whole bunch of 88 connections to Obama and also like satanic rituals and whatnot. Also, in this video, I just mentioned about the number 31 because I was talking a lot about the number 31 before the Super Bowl and how 31 seemed to be like a winning number and all that. But look at this here. So, so interesting, 31. If you go from the day that I put this video out, 2-6 to the day they whatever, copyright, whatever, by video. It's a span of three months, one day. So I was talking about 31 in this video, and also the 88. Also a span of 91 days. And look at the video here. The video has nine likes, one dislike, the 91. 329. Normally the 88th day of the year. This year it was the 89th because of a leap year. But the 329... Normally the 88th day of the year, 
they give me a copyright, whatever it is, 91 days, and this video has died likes and one dislike. So also, as I'm sitting here listening to it, I just checked out, I went from 2-6 to the day that Prince died, which is also Queen Elizabeth's 90th birthday. So that's one, another reason why it sticks out, is because it was the day that the Queen became the Queen, and then Prince dies on her birthday. But it's also a span of 75 days, the reflection of 57, but also 2 months, 15 days. And in my original Prince video, I talked a whole lot about this 215. I talked about how Prince's protege Vanity, who died on 215 at the age of 57. I talked about how it connected to the the basketball season and whatnot. I can't even remember it all right off the top of my head. But I talked about this number a whole lot in regards to the death of Vanity and how it connected to the death of Prince. Also, if you go from the Queen's birthday and the Prince and Prince's death. If you go to 7-5 this year, it's also a span of 75 days. So the queen's anniversary of being the queen to her birthday is 75 days, and it's also 75 days before 7-5. I also, in one of these videos, I mentioned how 7-5 is the day that Princess Charlotte was baptized last year, and she was born on 5-2. I've also been talking about the death of Tupac's mother and how it connects to uh, the death of Prince even. So interesting that his mom died on 5-2 the same day as Princess Charlotte. Or, I mean, the same day that she was born. Also, if you write out the word 75, it equals 152. A number that I've been talking about a whole lot. Pennsylvania equals 152. The 152nd day of the NBA season was on Easter Sunday. Easter Sunday equals 152. Also, if you write out the word 79, 79 equals 152. The first copyright strike video that I'm talking about with the print stuff was about 22 Jump Street. 22, the 22nd prime, is 79. So interesting how they're all interrelated. Anyway, I'm going to watch more of this video. So, I must be on to something pretty pretty significant with this Prince stuff and the royal family and whatnot. But, I even mentioned, I mentioned the Maserati commercial with the Trident. I talk about the 88 stuff. Coldplay even equals 88 in Gematria. But, and it was that weird Maserati commercial about coming out of the shadows, we're prepared and now we strike. Also, I talk about Super Bowl 48 when that commercial was on. Super Bowl 48, the final score was 43 to 8, and the Broncos lost. Just interesting with all the 51 stuff I've been talking about. That's a total score of 51. But also, I went and just I went and looked at this video to see when the actual uh, Coldplay video came out. It actually, and look what look at the time on it. 4 minutes, 21 seconds, Prince died on 421, Queen Elizabeth's birthday, 421. Even later that night, the next email that I got in my email, look at it, 421 a.m. What are the odds of that? That's pretty. That's some pretty strange stuff. Huh. And... Unbelievable. Look at this. I this was the the one that came at 421. Iowa works. So it's Iowa workforce or whatever. <laughs> Iowa works. Look at it in Gematria. 134. The number that I keep talking about, one of the numbers that they were showing me, the day Money Monster comes out, King Charles the third equals 134. They really want me to see this 134 and the 165. And I don't know. I don't know if that means May 13th or if that means June 13th or I'm not quite for sure. You know, that's why I've, I've been talking about things that I find that could be significant with it. I don't know if they're going to, if the queen's going to die. I don't know if Prince Charles is going to die or become the king. I don't know. It's, you know, but they're showing this to me for a reason. I don't, maybe Obama is going to die that day or maybe Donald Trump or... 
Or maybe it has nothing to do with this day. Maybe it's just something to do. This, this day might be leading it to something else, you know. That's what I'm trying to figure out. And it's pretty strange that they keep copyright or giving my video a copyright infringement or whatever right after I put my Prince videos up so you know it's connected to him and also connected to the royal family. I've also done a lot of stuff about earthquakes. So maybe it has something to do with uh, an earthquake or some type of natural disaster that I've talked about a lot. And it's really interesting because Mount St. Helens was just in the news. They had they wrote it here even as Quake Strike Mount St. Helens. Look at Mount St. Helens in Gematria. If you write it the way they did on that little headline, 135. May 13th, 13 slash 5, that's how they write it in England and whatnot. I've talked about how these 134 and 135 also have a connection to 115. Also, look at this. So I talked about the 91 earlier in this video. Him for the weekend equals 91 in Gematria. I've talked a lot about how this number is a death number. I see this number around death all the time. It's nothing good. You even had the death of Will Smith, the football player, who wore number 91. I talked about it clear back in September last year when the guy from Herbie died. He died on 9-1, and I talked about how it connected to the Nebraska Cornhuskers. A lot of stuff. There is so much information. I can't, I can't present it all the way I want to because it's just that in-depth. But if, you watch, if you've been watching my videos, you would understand the buildup and what I'm what I'm getting at through all of this so anyway what's also interesting on that Maserati commercial they say we have prepared now we strike it equals 129 this video was released on January 29th a lot like 129 even if you go from January 29th to the day that Prince died and also Queen Elizabeth's birthday, a span of two months, 23 days. Friday the 13th equals 223, Masonic equals 223, the Synagogue of Satan equals 223. I've also mentioned this 83 they've been showing a whole lot with the Golden State Warriors and the Cleveland Cavaliers. But also interesting, if you go to Friday the 13th this year, the only Friday the 13th this year, the day that I keep talking about, the 134th day of the year, it's a span of three months, 14 days, a lot like Pi. If you go from Pi Day, this was also Steph Curry's birthday, it was the day of the Kansas train derailment, but if you go from Pi Day to the day the NBA Finals begin, also Queen Elizabeth's 63rd anniversary of her coronation, it's a span of 80 days, which just sticks out because King Charles III, the small way, equals 80. It's also this 219 that I keep seeing. Back-to-back -back championships equals 219. The NBA season from the beginning to the first day or this day is 219 days. I even talked about how it's connected to Pope Francis, the Philadelphia train wreck last year was 219 days before Pope Francis' 79th birthday. If you go from 129 to 613, the day I was talking about with 22 Jump Street and the 165th day of the year, it's a span of 136 days, right? A lot like the date. It would be 13 slash 6 and 136. Another reason, too, I just want to put it out again really quick. I've shown this a whole bunch of times, but... The reason Beyonce is so significant to all of this, Beyonce Knowles in Gematria equals 168, just like Cleveland Cavaliers, just like Queen Elizabeth II. So, that's why Beyonce is so significant. Beyonce Knowles the small way is 69, just like back to back, just like Cleveland Cavaliers the small way. And of course, LeBron James is King James. Cavaliers are followers of King Charles during the English Civil War. So this song actually came out on this album I talked about too, A Head Full of Dreams. I talked about how Barack Obama sang Amazing Grace on the track called Kaleidoscope. Just find it down here. It was a minute 51 long. 151. A Head Full of Dreams equals 151. 
I talked about Obama getting shot in the head. I had talked about it because uh, Martin Luther King Jr. had a dream, and then he got shot on 4-4. I talked about how when Obama sang Amazing Grace at Clementa Pinckney's funeral, it was nine days after nine people got shot. Nine months and nine days later was 4-4. Obama's the 44th president. Actually, the 43rd person to be the president. So Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton and all them are actually running to be the 44th person to be the president. But they will be the 45th president because of Grover Cleveland running the two non-consecutive terms. Also interesting with the 151, Donald Trump is 15 years, 51 days older than Barack Obama. Queen Elizabeth surpassed Queen Victoria as the longest reigning British slash English monarch of all time. Queen Victoria died 51 years, 15 days before Queen Elizabeth became the queen on 2-6 of 1952. So also interesting, it was Obama did that on the song called Kaleidoscope. Kaleidoscope in Gematria equals 115. And I just talked about how the 115 has a connection to the 134 and the 135 that are leading me to think that there's something significant about May 13th. May 13th is the only Friday the 13th this year. The Paris attacks last year were on Friday the 13th. Anyway, if you write out 134, it equals 115. And if you write out 135, it equals 115. I talked about the Golden State Warriors always losing on 115. They lost one month, 15 days into the season. They lost on the 115th day of the season. Steph Curry hurt his knee on the 115th day of 2016. Just a few more thoughts, and then I'm going to do some other stuff and can maybe come back to this and think about it a little bit more. I know there's got to be something significant. I showed a bunch of stuff, but I feel like I'm missing something. I want to look a little bit deeper. But I had to have... The thing with the ads or whatever had to be because I showed this clip of the Maserati commercial or whatever. Maserati in Gematria equals 86, also 516. I mean, if you do these as dates, they're exactly what I've been talking about. 516 or also 16 slash 5. I mean, could be a stretch, just interesting to me. May 16th is the, could also be 16 slash 5. Also, if you do this in reverse... It would be the 16 and the 3 or whatever, or the the uh, 613, like the 165th day. Could be a stretch, you know. Just wanted to point it out, just to think about some stuff. Also, in my la the video that I posted about the color purple, I shared a personal experience I had in regards to tarot cards and how I got I got a a, a blue cloth and it was supposed to be purple. And I even made a video after this video about what does the blue man mean and some blue stuff. So interesting, this video is about uh, Shiva and the blue person or whatever. Who knows? Just makes me wonder. But uh, like I said, I'm going to do some more research into it. I also want to post uh, a video about 50 Cent and also some things I found interesting, again, with Tupac and the movie Above the Rim. So, have a good one. Actually, just one last thing. I said it was to do with the Maserati commercial. It was with the Maserati commercial, but I guess it was from this Black Diamond. I can't find it anywhere. It must just be some, I don't know, can't find this group, or I guess at least this song. And it says, CD Baby on behalf of the Chamber Records. Interesting, it was over a span of 51 seconds in my video. Also, in the previous video, when I talked about YouTube giving me a copyright strike, I talked about the number 165 and how they even did it 165 days after my birthday. This video came out on February 6th. If you go from my birthday to February 6th, just so happens to be a span of 88 days. The number that I had talked about with the color purple and whatnot and my, the whole point I'm making this video for. Also, look at this. So if you go from my birthday to the day that video came out on YouTube, 129, span of 80 days, also two months, 19 days. The number I've talked about 
a ton of times. I mean, I just see it all the time with the Golden State Warriors. I've mentioned it a whole lot, even the 80 with the King Charles stuff. I wonder what my birthday to today is. A hundred and seventy-nine. Can't think of why that's significant, but I know I've seen it a little bit. Like I said, I'll think about it. But uh, yeah, just wanted to point all this out, I guess. And uh, we'll leave it at that. I got some other stuff to do, so have a good one.